Hello everyone, my name is Walter Rowe and I'm a Capture One affiliate. Uh, in this video I wanted to quickly illustrate how to recover a corrupt session. Imagine that I'm in a session, here's a session here on the screen, I've got my capture folder, I have a favorites which is an output folder, it's a subfolder for my output directory, my output recipe says that the process recipe puts images in the subfolder called recipe name uh, and the output location is output which is a folder in my session so my ultimate destination would be output slash the name of the recipe in this case it's 2048 px so when I look at the system directories and I go to the desktop folder where the session is stored and I look in output there's a directory called 2048px. I've simply added that to my favorites uh, in this, inside the session so that it shows up here and, and is easily selectable. So let's imagine that this session is actually corrupt. Maybe it keeps crashing every time you open the session. When you look at a session, what you'll notice in the session, I'm, I have the session called corrupt. That's that's the source session. You're going to notice that inside the session folder, there's a CO session DB file. That's a database that's associated with a session. And when a session crashes, oftentimes that's the source of the corruption. The actual images are not corrupt. And what you're going to find if you go into your capture folder or your selects folder, wherever you have your raw images stored, you're going to have a subfolder called capture one. And when you look in the Capture One subfolder, you're going to notice that all the adjustments and all the proxies are actually stored inside that Capture One folder. So they're not stored in the database. The database has information about the session, but all of your adjustments are actually stored in this Capture One folder adjacent to your images. So the easy way to recover a corrupt, corrupt session is to take the contents of these folders and to copy them to a new session. So let me go back into Capture One. I'm going to close this session. We're going to assume that this session is corrupt. I'm going to close this session. I'm going to create a new session and I'm going to call it fixed. This is our fixed session. Okay, now in our fixed session, there's nothing in it. You can see all the folders are empty. I have no favorites. Um, so what I want to do now is I'm going to go into Finder and I'm going to bring up two windows. I'm going to do this side by side so it makes it easier for you to see on the screen. So notice that I'm in this path, desktop session recovery corrupt. That's the, that's the folder I'm starting in. And then over here, I'm gonna go to fixed. So I've got the corrupt session directory with a CO session DB, and I've got the fixed session folder with the fixed session C, fixed CO session DB. So what I'm gonna do is go into the corrupt folder on both of them, I'm going to copy from here. Actually, I'm going to use the, the Command C option to copy. And then I'm going to go to my fixed. I'm going to use Command V for paste. And that's pasting. So that is literally making a, a true copy. You could just drag and drop or, or move them. I'm making a copy just, just to be safe. I'm going to go back over to my output folder and I'm going to do the same thing. Notice in the output folder I have this 2048 picks. I'm going to go and copy that folder over. So sessions work as files. So you don't have to resync anything. It's like hot folders. So now when I go back into Capture One, I can go to my Capture folder in the fixed session and here's the files. You can see they're all there, the adjustments are there, nothing's been lost. I don't have my favorites yet, but now I can go and I can add my favorite. Fixed, 
output add that and now my now I've restored everything in a session and I uh, have a new session which is a copy of the old session but it's no longer corrupt because I've eliminated the, the possibly corrupt CO session DB from the old session so I just wanted to quickly demonstrate how to recover a session uh, by copying the contents of your capture folder, your selects folder, your output folder, uh, your trash folder from from an old session to a new session or from a corrupt session to a new session. Um, this makes it easy to recover uh, and then once you've done this uh, then you can go to finder and you can actually delete your old session. So here's the corrupt folder you can see on the screen here and there's the fixed folder right below it and so I'm just going to delete that corrupt folder and I only have now the fixed folder left uh, because I've copied everything into it and it's a brand new session all I've done is copy the contents of the capture folder the output folder if I had selects or, or things in the trash I could have copied them as well and so now I've effect effectively fixed my session I fixed the corruption Hope that's helpful for you, and uh, please click the link in my uh, description for this video. If you're making purchases from Capture One, uh, I will get a small referral fee. I'm not an employee of Capture One. I don't get income directly from Capture One other than the referral fees when you guys use my link to uh, make your purchases. So thanks much. Have a great day.